so I want to come today. So I want to get it. Come on. I'm on an assignment from God. So I want to pay a shit hand. If you don't mind, you like it. To deposit this word in you. So the no go bad or the zegalone or pure boy and right on or the ma pia se lu chen kaya na pia de. Exodus chapter eight. So the tomi awa che kanji shema. Verse twenty five through twenty eight. Exodus chapter 8 is a story where God had spoken to Moses and he told Moses he told Moses to go to the Pharaoh and to command Pharaoh to let his people go and Pharaoh tried to compromise with him. How many know Satan many times tries to get you to compromise? We don't compromise with the devil. And in Exodus chapter 8, Pharaoh tells Moses, So Pharaoh got Moshe go Babiole so ye. I'm not gonna let your people go. So I'm not gonna let your people go. But I will let you go and sacrifice in our land. He says, I'm not going to let you leave us. But you can just make your sacrifices to God in our land. And Moses being the man of God that he was. He says no. We will not sacrifice here. For God has commanded us to go into the wilderness. You see what I want to talk to you about tonight is serving God the devil's way. Amen. See, there's a lot of people that think they're serving God. But they've compromised with the devil. See, Pharaoh didn't mind that the Israelites worshipped God. He just didn't want them to go too far. And Satan speaks to Christians today. And he says, you can go to church, but don't go too far. You can worship, but not too much. You can pray, but not too loud. And that is why God loves you. Amen. Hallelujah. Because you're radical. This group of, of people you are so radical and the devil doesn't like it he wants you to just calm down don't, don't come up here and worship don't pray so loud. Shh. Shh. 
This is the spirit of Pharaoh. Don't go too far. You see, this spirit is still alive in the church today. Satan doesn't care that you go to church. That doesn't scare the devil that you're here. What scares the devil is your obedience to God. It's what you do while you're here. That's what scares the devil. And so we have to begin to discern how to serve God. And so when you read the book of Exodus, and you see chapter 8, you see how the enemy tries to deceive us. The first thing he tries to do is convince you that you can stay where you are and serve God. But this is not true. We must leave the old place we must leave our old life we must leave our old ways to go into the new but I see many Christians they don't want to leave their old life they don't want to leave their sin. They want to bring their sin into the new life. And simply hide it. As long as nobody sees, it's okay. Satan is lying to you. It's not, it's not okay. God called the Israelites to leave Egypt. And he calls us to leave the old life. And come into the new life. But many Christians, they don't want to leave their sin. And they try to bring it with them into the new life. They try to serve God in Egypt. And it doesn't work. And we have to understand that you cannot serve the Lord and live in the old life. 2 Corinthians chapter 6 it tells us that the light and darkness cannot mix. And it says there in verse 17 of 2 Corinthians 8, or 6, 2 Corinthians 6, 17. It says, come out of the world and be separate. Because 
We must leave the old behind. So chonoro otada de ma how ni de ya ni alo thage ya ma phit de and come into the new. Chonoro twala ge ba ate to shi de ni ya go twala bo phit de. I know many of you may be struggling in an area. So that they know degree at that day, ma. They know young grand year at that day, at that day, at that day, she knew me. God wants to break you free tonight. Oh, I need to change the young grand year at that day, at that day, ma. Go at that day, ma. Young year at that day, alu. Pay a good degree, pay a little bit, ma. Pay this. So that you don't have to live in shame. So that they know that they are not young year at that day, at that day, at that day, she me. Because there are many Christians. Degree, Christian to don't make me go cheap, ma. So ye. They come to church. But they have not changed their thinking. They have not left broken their habits. And so they miss out on the fullness of God. Because see, Satan doesn't mind you coming to church. So the Satan got the they know what they can say about you. Do I see that you're not missing? As long as you live like he wants you to live. Oh, the no Satan got the to be out there. The attention is to be the the no do I let do I give you my side do I yare? See, there's a lot of people. Digne, loot all of them. I go cheap, so yeah. They leave their Christianity in these chairs. So the other guy, the Cody, them are Christians, so they uh. They go to church. They shout. They cry. They pray. They'll even give in the offering. But then they'll go home. And they'll leave all of it here. And if you see them at work. So they know they know to be they know load that niago to achieve me so yeah they're not acting like Christians. Oh, they know they know they malo wada bones and they mahoda bu atiani amata chabu mche to be. If you see them with their friends, so they know they ngaji ni neshi ni achi ni go to achieve me so yeah they're not behaving like Christ followers. Oh, they know Christo na go lie ni da bones and mio mahoda bu and that is a problem. Because that's what Satan wants. So I don't want to be a Sunday Christian. So I don't want to be a Sunday Christian. He wants you to be a Sunday Christian. So I don't want to be a Sunday Christian. So I don't want to be a Sunday Christian. So I don't want to be a Sunday Christian. So I don't want to be a Sunday Christian. So I don't want to be a Sunday Christian. So I don't want to be a Sunday Christian. So I don't want to be a Sunday Christian. So I don't want to be a Sunday Christian. So I don't want to be a Sunday Christian. So I don't want to be a Sunday Christian. So I don't want to be a Sunday Christian. So I don't want to be a Sunday Christian. So I don't want to be a Sunday Christian. So I don't want to be a Sunday Christian. So I don't want to be a Sunday Christian. So I don't want to be a Sunday Christian. So I don't want to be a Sunday Christian. So I don't want to be a Sunday Christian. So I don't want to be a Sunday We are warned to make sure that we are doing the works of Jesus Christ. To make sure that our faith is alive. Because what is happening in many churches is people aren't serving God the way the Bible tells us to. Oh, luri ga no pia amuro re ma lo tru ase kan ja de chan sa de ga pyo tu lo lo lok ba de they're compromising da be me tru o tat da de ma ba lok tha le solution tru twa bi lo ma tat cha tu ne twa bi a pe yu lok tha ja de and the problem with compromising so the no de zo tiao ne twa bi lo ma tru a pe yu lok lai de ka ma ba pya tan na le so yin ne is it gives you a form of godliness it gives you a form of godliness you look holy Oh, but you have no power. Your prayers don't change anything. Their praise doesn't break chains. Because they're in compromise. This is why this group is so important. So that that don't dimash it, Lurie. But now you chill, so that we pure change up here. Because there's a fire on the inside of you. They know you're that darling, but pay a me a talon in up here. God has given you some great pastors. So that they know go there to get no tore. Pay a big the pay that they don't see a dimash it in up here. God has given you great leadership. They know go pay a thing a count a count on the pay that up here. Because he wants what is here to spread. So the pay out the king a dini ama pini de ayari alongo the chado adeno de the chado adadari go the chado nainga ne go pini adabo be pini de. Amen.
But you cannot compromise. You cannot compromise with the spirit of this world. Remain radical. Pray strong. Worship strong. But live strong. Let God change your hearts. Let God transform you. Allow the Spirit of God to destroy your old life. Become new creatures in Christ. There's a new thing God's done in you. There's a purpose for which he has saved you. So Some of you think you left your country to come here oh. just to have a better life. Mm-hmm. But there's a bigger purpose at hand. God has assembled an army. An army from Myanmar. I have been to over 40 different countries in this world. I've been on over 150 missions trips. Uh, no, uh, and what I sense in my spirit in this room. I've only experienced in a few other places. I believe you're about to see some amazing miracles take place in this church. Amen. Hallelujah. I believe there is coming an outpouring of God's Spirit. And it is going to affect generations. And I've come here to tell you today. Do not compromise. Do not compromise what the word tells you to do. Do not compromise with the devil. Do not calm down. Stay fired up. Amen. I came to bear witness of something that's happening. Something is going to break out in this church. So Even amongst the children among the children even. Among the youth. It's going to spread. Many of you will be sent to other countries. Amen. And you're going to see God move through your life. But I want to pray for you tonight. And I want you to be focused on what the Holy Spirit is going to do inside of you. Let's stand on our feet.